the two of you met while working on a pilot with Julia Davis. Mm -hmm. Why is she one of the funniest women in the world, or funniest people in the world? Uh, I guess she has this uncanny ability to to portray real horror, the real kind of horrors sort of within sort of humans, just in this brilliantly sort of nuanced and mm -hmm. hilarious way. Are you a fan as well? I am. Yeah. I am. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of dark comedy, and her humor is her sensibility is quite dark. Yeah, um, and she, as Nick says, she kind of taps into our uh, our really deep fears and anxieties. And her in, use in of language way. as well. I think her use of language is brilliant. Yeah, you said some of her humor is very dark and bleak. Is there any of that in Intelligence, or is it slightly more lighthearted? I think it's a bit more lighthearted. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, there's 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 occasional sort of boundary. You know, just because of some of the subject matter, it sort of goes into some slightly darker territory. But it, I think on the whole, it, it feels a little bit lighter. Yeah. What's the bleakest thing you've done for a laugh? Bleakest thing I've done for a laugh. Mm. In in real life. Um, or in comedy. <laughs> If you've done something in real life that's pretty bleak for a laugh, then please share. I remember having to wee in a pint glass backstage when I was about to go on stage, um, and there was no time, and I couldn't get out without going through the audience. So I had to, <laughs> I just had to like finish, finish sort of just my water, and then just, I was on my own, I just had to wee in this thing and just put it somewhere safe, and then I had to take it to the toilet after. That was quite bleak. Where was the safe place? Say again? Where was the safe it place? It was sort of like hidden behind like a little cupboard, <laughs> so that no one could. It was only me on stage, so no one would have found it, but still. And what was that pilot that you did with Julia and will it ever see the light of day? Well, it was, so, I, so I'd so i written it with J Julia and it was a Channel 4 pilot. Um, I hope one day it might do. I mean, it was it never made a series, sadly. Um, and David did come on board to help mm. us with sort of developing that show. Um, but yeah, it, um, Julia and I regularly text about it or send each other clips from real morning TV shows and say, this 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 would should be in the morning because it feels too close to the, to the truth. So what was the premise and what was David's role within that? Well, it was about, I guess it was about, Julia played like a uh, like a popular morning TV presenter who'd sort of fallen from grace. And I was a, a sort of like a kind of a co-presenter, but who had sort of designs on her sort of main role in it. Mm -hmm. So I was sort of trying to sort of weasel my way into getting more segments. And David was going to play, it was various things that we looked at, either yeah, they, a co-presenter or like a showrunner. They, they had shot the pilot yeah. and um, the guys from Sony um, who were distributing the show in the US, you know, who I, who I knew, said that they were going to redo the pilot. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why? It's great. But nonetheless, they were going to redo it and maybe introduce this idea of a character, an, uh, an American Maybe a showrunner, like channel or, head of a show, or, or a channel or head, yeah. or a producer that was going to come and retool, revamp the whole morning show mm -hmm. because it was tanking in the ratings. Yeah. Um, and so I came out and we improvised for a few days, tried to come up with a fun character. Had you worked with Julia before? I no, know. no. no. You but you'd met, you'd we, we had met, we had done a long improv together because <laughs> we were maybe going to do um, uh, something with Neil LeBute. Oh, uh, that was right, yeah. Time, yeah. Um, develop a play. Anyway. Um, it, you know, for whatever reason, uh, that, okay. that they never shot the pilot. So. It's the Enemy Awards this week, and every year we give a prize called Godlike Genius to the kind of greatest musician, artist around. We've given it to Liam Gallagher, we've given it to Debbie Harry. Who would you give Godlike Genius to? Can it be classical, or is it...? it of course, yeah. I'd give it to John Williams. OK. David? <laughs> that is it someone living? Um, yeah, yeah, let's go living. Oh, I was going to say. Because then they can come and pick so it up, otherwise it's a bit... Um, <laughs> <laughs> when you say classical, that's Jazz where I work. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean classical, as in, like, sort of, can it be orchestral, does it need to be a pop singer or something? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my final question then. Okay. David, what's more likely, Oasis getting back together or a Friends reunion? Probably the latter. Friends reunion. From what I understand about Oasis, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean well, those um, two brothers, they can get back together, can't they? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Have they fallen out? Oh, yeah. Oh, is time. that a big thing? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. <laughs>